well, for example, in Alex's case, it's it's he is cultured, but he can turn anything, including great music, into servants for his particular needs and desires. And his particular needs and desires are incredibly selfish, to at least except for maybe one or two scenes, maybe one scene in the film, which I think is very key and very different from the novel. But um, there's nothing that can't be, just, just as Kubrick can take a novel or a short story and turn it into something of his own, which may be very different, there's nothing that a character in his films can't absorb and transform into something they want, something in their world. And, um, you know, there's a obviously a dark and a light side to that. Um, well, like to take uh, uh, the Sergeant Hartman in Full Metal Jacket. Um, you could look at him as, as a sadist in some regard. Mm-hmm except he has a role to play in the institution that is the Marine Corps. So the question is, can he uh, use, can you use abuse, physical as well as verbal abuse, uh, racism, sexism, it's all there in his performance. But can he use that to construct soldiers to give them that, that, I don't know, that full metal jacket, that emotional and physical shield that will mm-hmm. serve them in combat, or is he a sadist? You know, I think that's a question that Kubrick raises because he acts almost as badly as Alex does, and Alex is just a flagrant, at least to begin with, uh, you know, a flagrant um, selfish person. Um and he he wants I think he wants you to think about that. I think that's why he never shows Sergeant Hartman in an off moment when he's out of performance, you know, when he's just I don't know, being himself. He never shows him at home, he never shows him anywhere else. So you have to decide is he a cruel person? Is he just like the door gunner? The helicopter door gunner that you see later on, who is just a he is Alex. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm at war, simply using his role as a soldier to kill anyone he wants to down on the ground below him indiscriminately. Or is he is Hartman putting on a performance that is necessary in his role of making soldiers? Um, and you can find that in a lot of characters. I mean, they all struggle with it. Uh, there's a lot of duality. The, the chief guard in Clockwork Orange, uh, you know, not one of the major characters, but kind of an important character because he seems to be, he hates Alex. He, he hates him with a passion, but he seems to treat Alex with a certain amount of rigid, um, how can I put this, formality. I mean, he does follow the rules. Mm. And yet during the uh, during the Ludovico demonstration where Alex is on stage, the chief guard obviously gets some pleasure out of Alex's humiliation on stage and obviously shares some of Alex's sexual attraction to the, the nude woman who's brought on stage to demonstrate mm-hmm. Alex's inability to have sex. And so that's always there, even in minor characters. Um, they're all, if you want to call them dual or, or multifaceted and... Um, I find that interesting. 